yesterday, um, there was um, a, I think, extremely important vote. And, and essentially what the vote was about was whether or not the United States, uh, whether the president will have the authority to provide uh, training and support uh, for uh, so-called Syrian moderates. Uh, and uh, I voted against that uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, the main reason I voted against it is that I believe that at the end of the day, uh, this effort against ISIS or ISIL, whatever you want to call them, uh, which is a terrible, 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 brutal, dangerous organization, it is not going to be won by the United States. It will be won by the countries in that region, Muslim countries who may be Sunni or they may be Shiite, who are going to have to stand up and take these guys on. And what I fear is that, in fact, what this ISIS group wants, and they're pretty smart guys, what they want to portray to uh, Muslims throughout the world is that this is a war between the United States and Muslims. This is a war between the West and the East. This is a war between Christianity, if you like, uh, and Islam. And I think that we should not fall into that trap. Now, one of the points that I made uh, in a speech uh, on the floor yesterday, and most people don't know this, is that the fourth, the, the country in the world which has the fourth largest defense budget, more than the United Kingdom, more than France, is Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is spending almost $60 billion a year on the military, and that's a figure which some people think is pretty conservative. They have a significant fleet of modern aircraft. They have an army. And the question that should be asked is, why are they, who are certainly a lot more threatened by ISIS than is the United States or Europe, where are they in the struggle? Where is Kuwait in the struggle? Where is Turkey in the struggle? And um, where is Qatar in the struggle? Why is it that the United States is leading the effort? And I think we should be supportive, and I support the president's airstrikes. There's an important role for us to play. But the question is, how do you win a war when it is portrayed as the United States versus ISIS rather than the countries in the region, the Muslim countries, fighting their own fight with our support. That worries me. And second of all, I have a real time defending and understanding how taxpayers in the state of Vermont or Michigan or California should be putting money into this war when you have the royal family of Saudi Arabia who are worth hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars. You know, I don't understand why people in this country can't afford to send their kids to college or paying more in taxes or going deeper into debt nationally rather than some of the wealthiest families in the world in Saudi Arabia, Qatar, uh, Kuwait. So uh, those are the concerns that I have. And the other concern that I have is that once we get wrapped up into military involvement, uh, it is harder and harder for the Congress and the media to begin focusing on the other major problems facing this country. Real unemployment, 12%. Youth unemployment, 20%. Minimum wage, starvation, wage of seven and a quarter has to be raised. Pay equity for women who are earning 77 cents to the dollar for what a man earns. Climate change, the need to transform our energy system, campaign finance reform. There are enormous issues facing the American people, which I fear very much are going to be shoved underneath the rug by the Congress and by the media while we focus on Middle East, Middle East, Middle East all of the time. So a number of reasons uh, why I voted against that. I voted against the war in Iraq in the first place. And, and, and I want to conclude my thoughts on this by saying I think the president has been unjustly criticized. Unlike Bush and Cheney, who got us into a war in Iraq, you know, uh, I think the president is trying to think his way through this. But I disagree with his decision. And I look forward to seeing Saudi Arabia and Kuwait and Qatar and all these other countries come to the table and defend themselves and then get our support.